it's a very exciting day. And I'm so excited, I literally haven't even cleaned up like my last project yet. I've still got the epoxy crap here. But I don't care because we spent the money, a huge pile of money, and bought the Raymarine Evolution EV100 wheel autopilot system. And I'm so excited. <gasps> Woohoo! I mean, really sick. <laughs> okay, so unboxing video, yay. So Evolution Autopilot has a number of different pieces in it. The most central unit is the Autopilot control unit. And this is the brains of the entire system. So this needs to be mounted somewhere vertically uh, and looks like somewhere pretty dry, I'll bet. So we'll figure out a place to mount this down underneath. It also comes with the, this is the GPS and direction. I'm assuming it uses GPS. Uh, this is the, what is this called? It's called the part. This is the sensor core. So, and this has to be mounted in a place that is flat and level with your boat's normal position and pointing in what your boat's forward direction is. So I've located a place downstairs where this will mount up there. Okay, there's our sensor. It also comes with the P70 control head. And this is your, this is what you see for your controls. So you got your power button, you got your plus or minus one degree, plus or minus 10 degrees. Um, and then this is your display telling you where you're going. So this will get mounted on the, the control deck there next to the other, the auto helm. And then, of course, as it's a wheel control unit, it comes with the wheel control. So this mounts to the steering wheel. And then this is the actual motor that drives the steering wheel around. So this is where this system really connects to the, the steering system on the boat. And this is the disengagement engage. So, okay. We got lots of parts. We got lots of fun things to do. And of course it also comes with a whole bunch of other cables. Now, some of these I actually won't need because I don't have the chart plotter that they, of course, you know, they, they'd like to sell you a $50,000 setup. And uh, I'm using Navionics on a tablet. So I have yet to figure out a way to connect the Navionics to this system. Uh, I will continue playing with that as we work our way around the loop, but as of yet, I haven't figured that out. Or my Raspberry Pi computer setup. So, right now we got these pieces, and we will start going through the instructions and get them installed piece by piece and connected to each other.